Hello people, welcome back to my channel. I have got here another video of how to fix lag in the game loop which most of the people are facing after the update. The video will be around 10 minutes, so I request you guys to stay patient and follow the steps one by one. First, we will have to close all the game loop applications running in the background, so please close the emulator as well as the tray icon, which is a background process. Second, we will have to download the application named Process Hacker 2. The link is in the description below. This issue can be fixed without using the Process Hacker. However, I suggest you guys to use it, because it has got advanced options that might come in handy for fixing lots of issues that you are experiencing. Run the Process Hacker in Administrator mode after the installation is completed. Once you have opened the Process Hacker, you can see a lots of running programs with CPU usage, RAM usage, etc. But, for now let's focus on fixing the issue. Click on search bar and type QM, which will bring you a process named QM Emulator Service.exe, which you will have to stop and then delete. After you delete the process, Open the emulator's file location and search for the same file named QM Emulator Service.exe. I have made a previous video, where you can get more details if you are confused of moving this file. Once you are done moving the file, open the game loop in administrator mode, and open the settings from the drop down menu. Use the DirectX Plus if you have better CPU, and open GL Plus if you have a better GPU and face lags using DirectX Plus. Disable the anti-aliasing, if you face lags in the game. The 4GB RAM should be more than enough for the emulator to handle the game, so don't go more than that. When selecting the number of processor, you will have to select the actual amount of cores in your CPU, and not the hyper-threading. To check how many cores, you can Google it, or you can simply open the task manager and go to CPU performance tab. Once you are done with the processor settings, go to the resolution menu and select the exact resolution you are using for your desktop or your monitor. The DPI should be 240, which is the standard DPI for 1080p or lower resolutions. After this, move to the game tab and select the resolution which depends on your GPU performance. The display quality should always be in HD no matter which PC you are using. Click on save button and then restart the emulator from scratch. I recommend you guys to add the game loop installation folder to the exclusion list of your antivirus, which in my case is Windows Defender. If you won't do this, you will face random freeze, and then, you know what happens. You can also use the process hacker to see if any other applications are using more CPU rather than the game loop so you can close that application and free up your CPU. Do not close the system idle process, cause it does nothing to your CPU. I also see that some players are not able to open the game after pressing the play button a several times. In this case, you will have to open the process hacker and close the process named Android Emulator.exe. Be careful! You should not close that process if you are able to launch the game. Thank you for watching the video, and yeah, it took less than 5 minutes. If this didn't resolve the issue, let me know in the discord channel or in the comment section, so I can find an alternative solution for the issue. You can support me by liking the video and subscribing my channel. Thank you once again.